So there's a few more downsides, and one is the ocean heat waves changes in the temperatures of the ocean. Okay, and one famous example are indeed coral bleaching. Okay, so these we're talking about the warm water regions of the ocean and events that cause to extreme heat conditions or heat stress, thermal stress leading leading to coral coral bleaching. Again, we're talking about extreme events which have occur on on timescales of weeks, okay, that can be in the end related to the global warming trend, but not always. It's sometimes it's tricky to distinguish these events. If you have a big El Nino event, can cause uh, coral bleaching, widespread coral bleaching, but it can be hardly be uh, related to 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 uh, global warming. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to confuse you. Indeed, we have also continued uh, pollution issues, which which are not related to um, global warming, but to just uh, human impacts, okay, leading to the formation of dead zones. Okay? So the last last uh, feature that I want to want to mention, indeed, is uh, sea level rise. Again, I'm not going into the details. You can learn all of that as because we're running another topic called global climate change, which focuses on all these de these uh, uh, details. Okay, sea level rise indeed is is an, is another downside and has impact on a direct uh, impact on on some low laying uh, uh, islands. Uh, in, uh, most importantly, in the in the Pacific Ocean. Okay. All right.